careers on hold and bills piling up, hundreds of pharmacy school graduates across California are stuck in limbo because of a cheating scandal on a key state exam. I can't play catch with my son because I've got to study again for this exam that I've already studied and worked hard for and taken. The licensing board threw out everyone's results and as our 10 News anchor Derek Stahl explains, it's costing some graduates even more just to retake the exam. When Dan Prigmore graduated from UCSD's pharmacy school this year, he expected to be licensed and earning a paycheck by September. But for now, he can only work as an intern. I have two kids, I have a mortgage, I now have a student loan that's equivalent to a mortgage that needs to be repaid. How am I supposed to pay that when I can't make the wages that I'm supposed to be making? I can't. Prigmore is among the 1,400 pharmacist grads whose test scores on a key licensing exam were invalidated this week. I moved away from my friends and family to work here, but the amount that I'm working, it's just, I can't even financially fend for myself here. The California Board of Pharmacy determined more than 100 test questions were circulated online, making the entire test unreliable. Our primary mission, again, is to protect consumers in California and to make sure that anyone licensed as a pharmacist in California is competent to practice, and this exam is how we measure that. It's not fair to punish everybody who's taken this exam, you know, and didn't cheat. The board is letting applicants retake the exam in November, but Prigmore says test sites are filling up, forcing some to take it in other states. The board has decided to waive the fee for us to retake this exam, which is $30, and they're expecting us to be thankful for that. Meanwhile, I have to pay to fly to Des Moines, Iowa, and pay for a hotel room to retake this exam. He says the earliest he can start his pharmacy career appears to be December, a delay he estimates will cost him $30,000. Derek Stahl, 10 News. A board spokesman said they are aware of the hardships on applicants, but they had to put consumer protection first. He said there are more test spots opening up here in California.